Hello everybody, welcome to the first Panther football game, Panther home football game of the year. It's the Palmyra Eagle Panthers against the Waterloo Pirates. Just doing a few tests here, making sure that the audience can hear. The Pirates will be kicking off to the Panthers to start tonight's contest. Test one, two, test one, two. All right, everybody, welcome to the first Panther football game of the year. It's the Palmyra Eagle Panthers against the Waterloo Pirates. Panthers took the, sna took the opening snap to about the 32-yard line, and that's where they'll set up their offense for the first drive of the 2020 season. Chance Shale takes the handoff to Levi Musselman, who gets a hole and breaks free, cuts to about the 45-yard line. Actually, that's about the 47, close to a first down. And looks like they'll give it to him. First down, Panthers. Wow. Levi Musselman, a breakout back last season with the Panthers. Last year, 374 yards rushing, three touchdowns. And they'll give it to him again. And he breaks off a couple tackles and is finally brought down at about the... Pirates, 49-yard line. So, about a second and seven or so for the Panthers. From the Pirates, 49-yard line. Chance Hill takes a snap. Handoff is to, couldn't quite tell who that was, but it's another decent gain of about three. That was to Ryan Carpenter there. And it'll now be about a third and four for the Panthers. Third and four for Palmyra Eagles offense as they try to get a first down here. Trying to keep this opening drive going. Had some nice runs already by Levi Musselman. Chance Shale takes and looked like he took the handoff there, but he didn't. And it's going to be a penalty. And couldn't quite tell what the penalty was there, but... It'll be a first down for the Panthers, so it works out well. It was an encroachment penalty on Waterloo. First down Panthers here from about the 42-yard line. Chance Shale under center yet again. Now motion for the Panthers. Shale dropping back. That's Joey Brown, that quarterback. My bad, Joey Brown gets a gain of about two or three. And another penalty flag flies. No. <laughs> and it's a holding penalty against the Panthers, so it'll push them back. So a first and 20 for Palmyra Eagle. Penalty that cost him. Chance Shale once again back under center.
from their own from the 50 yard line chance shell quick pass to Christian Eddy and he will be brought down in the backfield by number 13 of the Panthers Brody Chans on the tackle a senior and it'll now be second and about 27 for the Panthers loss of seven there Christian Eddy another senior wide receiver for Palmyra Eagle and now here the Panthers go at second and long Chanchelle takes a snap, handoff, Levi, reverse. It's to number seven, Jacob Hammond, and he'll be brought down nice. at around the 41-yard line. Big gain for the Panthers, as it'll now be about a third and 10. Much more manageable for the Panthers there, third and nine, as they get out of a long range second down. Very nice reverse run by Jacob Hammond, new Panther football player this year. Chance Shale under center. He'll take the snap and looks to be a bit of a busted play. No, it is a screen to the Panthers. Number 31, Aiden Calderon. Gets to about the first down marker. And they will give it to him. First down, Panthers. That's Aiden Calderon with a nice catch on the screen pass. Another Panther, first down. So another Panther, first down. Nice drive they got going on here. It'll be a first and 10 from about their own 30. Chance Shale once again under center. He'll take the snap, handoff, Levi Musselman, and a nice gain of about two or three. It'll be a second and seven for the Panthers. Palmar Eagle coming off a 7-3 and three record last year where they went to the playoffs for the second straight year. Last year they played the Waterloo Pirates and it ended in a loss. 43-42 to 42 was quite a game in the second half. Chance Shale will take this snap and it'll be incomplete. Looks like it was intended for Aiden Calderon on that play. And it'll be 3rd and 7 for the Panthers. So the Panthers hoping for another third down conversion here. They're at about their own 26. Chance Shale once again under center. Musselman in the backfield, long throwing Carpenter, and they'll give it to Carpenter. And it's a nice gain, close to the first down, but not quite. Looks to be about a fourth and two. And the Panthers are going to go for it, it looks like. Chance Schill going back out there. Big play right here. Looks like they got three backs. Chance Schill under center. He'll take it, snap it to Levi Musselman. And it looks like he got there. First down, Panthers. Fourth down conversion, a gutsy call on the first drive, but it works out for the Panthers and they just keep going. Another first down for Palmyra Eagle, driving close to their own end zone now, the 19 yard line in the red zone. Chance Shale once again under center. First and 10, Palmyra Eagle. Shale takes a handoff. He gives it to, looked like Ryan Carpenter again. And it looks to be about a gain of six. Musselman and Carpenter, both returning players from last year. Both had good seasons running. 
And they will be a duo in the backfield. The Panthers hope they can work a lot this season behind a strong line. Lots of returners, lots of returning players on that line. Starting with center Johnny Doyster, guards Casey Weber. And the, that snap is to Levi Musselman. And that's a gain of about two. It'll be about third and two. Those guards were Casey Weber and Tony Giralf. And the Panthers, the rest of their line consists of tackle Bryce Steffens and right tackle Mason Blazewitz. So here we go, another third down for Palmyra Eagle. Be third and short. And it'll be Shell taking the handoff and a handoff. And that looks like another Panther first down. Panther. Amazing drive the Panthers are putting together. First drive of the season. Their offense looks good so far. So Palmyra Eagle will be setting up for another first and 10 from about the nine yard line. Shale under center again. Takes a snap. Handoff. It's to Carpenter. He's got a lot of room. And makes a man miss. And it is a touchdown. Panthers. Ryan Carpenter scores the first Panthers touchdown of the 2020 season. An amazing drive by Palmyra Eagle, which consisted of a second and 27 and a fourth down conversion. And now Aiden Calderon comes on for the extra point. So the Panthers now setting up for the extra point. And a flag flies. And it's a false start on the Panthers. It'll back them up five yards. This is one of only three home games for the Panthers this year due to the shortened season, due to the pandemic and some trickery, a lot of motion going on for the Panthers on the extra point. They'll take the snap, and Calderon boots it through the uprights, and actually it is no good. The extra point is no good, and the Mario Eagle Panthers are up 6 nothing. Tough angle from, but it is, a, it is no good for the Panthers. And the score now, the Mario Eagle 6, Waterloo nothing, with three minutes left to go in the first quarter. What a drive for the Panthers. Can't stress that enough. Ate up a lot of the clock, and they got a score out of it. Good start to their season. We'll see if they can continue it on defense. A lot of returners on defense, as well, a lot of returning players on defense as well. The line features Johnny Doyster, Casey Weber, Aiden Calderon, and new players Bryce Steffens and Eric Brom. Corners this year, Christian Eddy. Returning senior and Brady Koopman, new player. And the Panthers will get set to kick it off here. All right, here goes Calderon to kick it off for Palmyra Eagle. We'll see the Pirates' first drive of their season here. Calderon kicking it, and it is muffed by the Pirates. He picks it back up and gets out at about the 17-yard line or so. Nice kick by Aiden Calderon, and the Pirates will start pinned in inside the 20.
So the Panthers setting up for their first defensive drive of the season. They've looked good so far. 254 left to play in the first. They'll actually start on their own 20, first and 10 Pirates. Let's get the uh, twin set at receiver. Motion. And they snap it and goes to, looks like, the back. And that's a small gain, if not behind the line. Very nice tackle by Casey Weber, a senior on this Panthers team. So it'll be no gain, second and 10 for the Pirates at their own 20. Pirates take the snap. Quick play, and it's dropped. Dropped, and it'll be third and 10 for the Pirates. All right, Waterloo, big play up coming here. Third and 10 from their own 20. Haven't been able to get anything so far on offense, their first two plays. Pirates take the snap, and that one is to number 17, and he's taken down quickly. Nice play by, looks like, Christian Eddy of the Panthers. Duncan Ireland also in on the tackle, and it will be fourth and eight for the Pirates. Nice opening defensive drive for the Panthers. So the Pirates will punt. Looks like returner Jacob Hammond. Setting up around the 35. Pirates punt it away. And it'll be out of bounds close to where Hammond was. About the 31. And that's where the Panthers will set up their second offensive drive coming off of a touchdown on their opening drive. Belmar Eagle first and 10 from their own 40. Motion from Ireland, and he will take the pitch and brought down behind the line by a number of Pirates players. It'll be a loss on the play. Not sure how big. A loss of about six for the Panthers. Second and 16 from their own 34. 117 and counting left to play in the first quarter. So it'll actually be a loss of five. Palmyra Eagle, second and 15. Here comes the snap. Chance Hill takes a snap, and it is a run right up the middle. That was Carpenter. Looks to be about a gain of two. So it'll be a third and 13 for the Panthers from their own 37. Belmar Eagle has already dealt with some long third downs on their first drive. We'll see if they can replicate the success. And Shale takes a handoff, looking back to pass. Deep ball to Eddie and just on his fingertips. But it falls to the ground incomplete and the Panthers will likely be forced to punt. Aiden Calderon punting once again. 15 seconds left in the first quarter. So the Pirates' D performs nicely that drive. Gets a nice three and out.
Calderon takes the snap. Punts it. And it's a fair catch at around the 33-yard line. Brody Shans on the return there. Nine seconds left in the first as the Panthers, or excuse me, the Pirates, will set up from their own 32. Maybe enough time for one or two more plays here. Blake Hubner at quarterback for the Pirates. And number 14 for the Pirates takes the handoff and brought down after little gain. Nice hit by number 31, senior Aiden Calderon. That was Aiden Calderon on the tackle, and that'll do it for the first quarter. Palmyra Eagle up six to nothing on the Waterloo Pirates. We'll be back in a moment for the second quarter. Panthers going back out there for the second quarter. The seniors were applauded. Unfortunately, couldn't do the normal senior night, uh, obviously due to the pandemic, but they were honored at the end of the first quarter there. It is senior night tonight for the Panthers. So Pirates on their own 36. They'll take the snap, hand off, and it is actually he kept it. And he'll get across the 40-yard line to maybe the 41 little slow to get up there and he is down now getting up looks to be all right so it'll be a third and short for the Pirates from their own 41 yard line Panthers D looking for a big stop here Motion for the Pirates, and fake the handoff. A reverse there, and chase down quickly. Brought down to the ground. That was nice. the Panthers, number 13, Eric Brom. Tackle for a loss, fourth and three, and the Panthers' D comes up big again. Looks like the Pirates will punt it away. And it's Jacob Hammond back for the return once again. Pirates take the snap here. Punt it away. Not as good as the first punt. And it looked to be off a Waterloo player. And they'll mark it dead around the Panthers' own 41-yard line. And that's where the Panthers will set up shop for their third offensive drive of the night. Two drives so far for the Panthers. First one resulted in a touchdown, a touchdown run by Ryan Carpenter. Second one was a three and out. We'll see what they can do here on their third offensive drive. Defense playing really well right now. Yeah. 
Chance Shiel once again under center. He takes a snap, and it's a handoff to Ryan Carpenter once again. He'll take it for a gain of about five. Nice dive play to Carpenter there for a five-yard gain on first down. Maybe a little short in five yards. Look to be close to four. So they'll be on their own 44 for second down. Chance Shield once again under center here. He takes a snap. Handoff looks to be to Levi Musselman, and little to no gain there. Maybe a yard or two. So a third down upcoming for the Panthers. Panthers were close to a big completion on their last third down. Unfortunately, just off the fingertips of Eddie, we'll see if they try to throw again or if they'll go to their ground game, which has been strong for them in the first half. Shale under center. Takes a snap. Handoff, Ryan Carpenter, and he has enough for the first down. Oh, and he lost the football, and it looks like the Pirates recovered it. And fumble on the play, and the Pirates do have it. They recover, and they'll set up shop right around the 50-yard line. Very unfortunate. Look to be, look to be a first down for the Panthers. Carpenter lost the ball right at the end of it. Here goes Waterloo after the turnover. They'll set up here from the 49-yard line. First and 10. Takes a snap. And quick pass on the sideline. Nice gain of about five or six. They'll give him six. That pass was a completion to Caleb Hager, it looks like. Senior wide receiver. And it'll be a second and five for the Pirates. Here go the Pirates. Looking for a first down here, second and five. It's a handoff right up the middle. And met after a gain of about three by the Panthers D. Gang of Panthers there to prevent Pirates from getting a first down. And third it'll short. be third and short here for the Pirates. Panther D held tight last time. We'll see if they can do it again. A third and three, they're marking it, from the Panthers 42. Pirates take the snap, and it is a pass, and it is complete. Once again to Caleb Hager. First down after a tip pass, and the Pirates will get a first down. So, Waterloo after the turnover. Driving right now, we'll see if they can Keep it going. And they'll roll to the right. And a big pass incomplete. Looking deep to Wyatt Peterson incomplete. Second and 10 for the Pirates. Six twenty-five left in the first half. Panthers still lead 6-0 over the Pirates. Second and 10 from their own 38-yard line. Still Blake Hubner under center for the Pirates. Then shotgun. And he's looking to pass once again over the head of a receiver incomplete. Looks like it was intended to number 26, Jackson Christensen on that play. And it'll be third and 10 for the Pirates. Waterloo hasn't been able to get much on offense so far. Panthers D has held strong in some of the opening drives. Third and 10 for the Pirates. Snap is taken. 
And a hesitation snap, and that one is batted down at the line by number 13, Eric Brom. And it'll be a fourth and 10 for the Pirates. They'll have to punt it away again. No points off the turnover for the Pirates. Back to return once again, number seven, Jacob Hammond for the Panthers. Looks like Waterloo will punt it away. Back deep once again is Jacob Hammond. Click Eugene Wolf is the punter for the Pirates, number 17. And he gets the snap, punt it away. And he'll punt it to about the 15. Jacob Hammond picks it up. And a nice return to about the 21 yard line. Nice play by Jacob Hammond to pick that up and run with it. So the Panthers will start this drive from about the 20 yard line. First and 10, Palmyra Eagle. See if the Panthers go back to the ground game, which they've used heavily in the first half. Not much passing. Levi Musselman and Ryan Carpenter have been the dynamic duo in the backfield so far for the Panthers. Some motion there. And she will take the handoff. It's a pitch to Musselman. And Musselman breaks a tackle. And oh, he lost the football again after spinning away from a couple Pirates. And the Pirates will once again take the ball away from the Panthers. Two fumbles in a row for the Panthers. One from Carpenter, one from Musselman. And so the Panthers D back out to work again. Waterloo has a much shorter field than last time. They'll be at about the 28 yard line of the Panthers. Close to striking distance already. Pirates offense coming back out onto the field. Have four receivers, three on the right, one on the left. And they'll look to pass. And that one, oh, almost picked off. Almost picked off there. Looked like Brady Koopman almost picked that ball off. Looked to be a little overthrown. Brady Koopman could not come up with it, though, and it'll be second and 10 for the Pirates. 5.50 left to play in the first half. Here we go, second and 10 from the Panthers 28 yard line for Waterloo. Motion, they'll take the snap and a delayed handoff it looks like and he'll be brought down behind the line. Nice tackle there by Giralf. Number 52, Tony Giralf. It'll be a third and long now for the Pirates. Back him up to about the, looks to be about the 32 or 33. It'll be a third and 13. Palmyra Eagles D once again looked very strong in the first half here. So another big third down for the Pirates. Motion once again. Take the handoff. And looking to throw now. And that one is reeled in and breaks a few tackles. And that ball looks to be on the ground maybe. And we'll see who has the football here. Looking to see who has it here. And it's Palmyra Eagle ball. Big turnover there for Palmyra Eagle. After two of their own, they get a fumble. And the Panthers get the ball back. With 4.56 left to play in the first half. It'll be a first and 10 from about the 25 yard line or so. Couldn't quite tell who recovered that fumble. Big pile there. But the Panthers do have the football. And they'll see if they can put together a drive to score here before half. Three turnovers already in this half. Two for the Panthers, one for the Pirates. So far, none of them have turned in any points for either team. We'll see if Palmyra Eagle can change that. 
And Shale is sacked on the play. Was looking to throw. And the Pirates take him down. And it'll be a big loss on first down. So second and long coming here for the Panthers. Second and 18 for the Panthers after the sack from their own 15-yard line. Shale under center once again. And that is a handoff to looks to be Carpenter. Ryan Carpenter with the run. It'll be a nice gain. Looks to be about third and 11 now for the Panthers. So another big third down coming here in this first half. Less than four minutes to play in the first half. Here goes Palmer Eagle, a lot of motion there. Shale takes a snap. No, that's actually, that looks to be Joey Brown actually and he is brought down behind the line. Another tackle for a loss for the Pirates and it'll be a fourth and long now for the Pirate, for the Panthers and they will punt it away. Back to return for the Panthers or for the Pirates, number 13, Brody Shans. And it'll be Aiden Calderon punting it away for the Panthers. Here's a punt from Aiden Calderon. Nice punt. And this one bounces back and right around the 50-yard line. And so the Pirates, good field position to start. They'll set up around the 48-yard line. Still plenty of time left to play in this first half here. 2.53 to go. Six to nothing, Palmyra Eagle. Pirates offense taking the field here. Hoping for a score before half here. Three receivers set on the left, one on the right. The Pirates take the snap and it's a handoff. Nice gain and it looks to be a gain of about seven. Nice run by the Pirates. It'll be about second and four. So a nice first down gain from the Pirates. 42 yard line of Palmyra Eagle. Once again, the Pirates, three receivers on the right, a receiver on the left. Excuse me, other way around, three receivers on the left, one on the right. It's another handoff. And stumbling forward, close to the first down, not quite. It'll be about a third and one. Casey Weber on the tackle, it looked like for Palmyra Eagle. Coming up on the two minute warning here. Here goes Waterloo. And that's a throw and it's intercepted by the Panthers. Nice return. Brady Koopman with the pick. His first of the season, the Panthers first of the season, first of his career. And Koopman gives the ball back with about 147 left to play in the first half. So the Panthers will start from about the 42 yard line. Chance Shale, ooh, gives it to, looks to be Jacob Hammond there. Spinning about no gain though. Second and 10 for the Panthers. We'll give him a second and nine, gain of one there. Panthers once again have been 
very heavy on the rushing attack today. A lot of turnovers, two for each team already in this half. Two fumbles for the Panthers, a fumble and an interception for the Pirates. And the Panthers try and turn that interception into points. Shale with the completion looks to be Calderon and it looks like he lost the football. And it is a fumble recovered by the Pirates, the fifth turnover of the half. Third of the game already for Palmyra Eagle. And they keep giving each other the ball back and forth. There's 105 left to play in this first half. And the Pirates have the ball at their own 40. That was Aiden Calderon on the completion. Unfortunately lost the football. And here go the Pirates offense. They'll take the snap with about a minute left to play and he almost lost the snap and now he is sacked by Eric Brom. Big sack for the Panthers. It was almost another fumble. Timeout Waterloo with 55 seconds left to play in the first, first half. So the Pirates have less than a minute now. 37 yard line, a big second and 18 for the Pirates. Hoping to turn the fumble, their third of the game, into some points. And it looks like it'd be a busted play. And that one nearly picked off. Couldn't tell who got the deflection there. And that's Jacob Hammond with the deflection. Nice play by Hammond there. It'll be third and 18 for the Pirates. And another timeout. Waterloo, their second. Here goes Waterloo, third and long for the Pirates. Panthers D has played great the first half. And that one was a low snap, he'll take it. Now looking to pass, deep ball, and almost intercepted. Knocked away Christian Eddy with the deflection. And it'll be fourth and 18 for the Pirates. And the Panthers will get the ball back. Eugene Wolf back to punt for the Pirates. Jacob Hammond, the receiver, the returner. When they get the ball back, they'll have a little less than 40 seconds to play. A 
The Pirates punt it away. Pretty good punt. Hammond Fair catches it right around the 29-yard line. And we'll see if the Panthers try and get any score or if they'll just take it in to halftime leading 6 nothing. They'll have 33 seconds in the first half here. Here go the Panthers. 33 seconds of play, first and 10 from their own 29. And Shale dropping deep, and he'll give it a little screen. Looks to be to Carpenter. Nice run. Screen play gives them about five. That was actually to Calderon. So it'll be second and five for the Panthers. 24 seconds to go. Panthers lead 6 nothing in a half that has been mostly dominated by turnovers on both sides. Three for the Panthers, all fumbles. Two for the Pirates, one fumble and an interception. Here go the Panthers, second and five. Shale back to snap, and he'll take the handoff. Throwing it deep, and oh, almost intercepted. Looked like the receiver had fell down there. It was going to Jacob Hammond. Jackson Christensen... In on the coverage, almost had the pick. So now it'll be third and five with 19 seconds to go in the first half for the Panthers on their own 34-yard line. Here goes Palmyra Eagle. Shale takes a snap, and it's a handoff to Ryan Carpenter with a nice gain. That'll be to about the 47. Big gain there. And it'll be a timeout, Palmyra Eagle, with 13 seconds to play in the first half. So here goes 13 seconds for the Panthers. It's on their own 42-yard line. Shale back to take the snap. And he'll throw it up to Eddie, and it's over his head. That was actually to Calderon. Looked like 21 was 31. So Aiden Calderon unable to make the play. Now second and 10 for the Panthers. Eight seconds left. Aiden Calderon last year mostly uses a lineman. Now, in this new system, with the new head coach for the Panthers, running routes is a tight end. Made a few catches already today, and here's Chance Shale taking the snap. Stepping up now, throwing, and it is overthrown. Another long pass. Nice D by the Pirates there. Good D, though. Three seconds left in the first half. Third and ten. Here 
Here goes the Panthers. They'll have one more play before half. Shale takes a snap, and it's a handoff to Carpenter and a flag on the play. We'll see what this is. It was a gain of about five. And we'll see what the penalty is. And it's holding on the Panthers. Penalty is declined. And we'll go into halftime with the Palmyra Eagle Panthers up 6-0 on the Waterloo Pirates.
second half. Just about to get on our way here. If you're just joining us, first off, thank you. And second off, the Panthers have a six to nothing lead over the Waterloo Pirates. So it put 12 minutes on the clock for the third quarter. And we'll get ready to play the second half. Aiden Calderon ready to kick it away for the Panthers. Short kick. And this one will be returned. And little to no return there from the Pirates. Good D. That looked like, nice tackle by Dylan looked like it was there. Dylan Agan on the tackle. Nice play made. So the Pirates will start from about their own 20-yard line. A lot of turnovers in the first half, if you did not see it. Palmyra Eagle had three fumbles in the first half. Waterloo had two turnovers, fumble and interception. It was all in the second quarter, practically. So the first play here for Waterloo is a handoff, and it'll be brought down after a gain of about seven or eight. Second and two for the Pirates. Waterloo open to find some rhythm on offense. And they'll take the snap and that is incomplete. Looked like it was intended for Jackson Christensen. And it'll be a third and short for the Pirates. Palmar Eagles D trying to get another stop here. Big play coming for the Pirates. Low snap, handoff, and he'll get it and a little more. Looks like it was a handoff by Eugene Wolf, and it'll be a first down Pirates. 36 yard line is where they will set up shop for their next first down here. Waterloo one back one back in the backfield and they'll fake it to him and a nice completed pass it'll be a first down for the Pirates that'll bring him close to the 50 yard line looks like it's about the 47 and so the Pirates two straight first downs now looking to keep it going Setting up with three receivers on the right, one back in the backfield. Takes a snap, handoff to Eugene Wolf, and he makes a nice cut. That's going to be a gain of about six or seven. Another nice carry by Eugene Wolf. He's had a couple of nice ones to start the second half here. Second and four from their own 40s, or from the Panthers 46, and they'll hand it off to Wolf again. And Wolf makes another nice cut. That'll be a first down for the Pirates. That'll bring them to about the Panthers 38. They're driving here. See if the Panthers D can get a stop. Two receivers on both sides, another back in the backfield for the Pirates. First and 10, and that was, looked like a pass to be too low, and that'll be an incomplete pass. Second and 10 for the Pirates. Huebner in shotgun formation there. Motion for the Pirates. 
And they'll hand it off to Wolf again. And another nice gain. Looks to be a gain of about five on second down. Should bring about a third and five. And it'll be a six yard gain for Wolf. Third and four for the Pirates here. At the Panthers 33 yard line. Three receivers on the right, one on the left. Huebner takes the snap, hands it off to Wolf again. And Wolf looked like he was wrapped up by the legs there and brought down close to the first down marker. But he will not get it. It'll be a fourth and short for the Pirates. Nice stop by the Panthers. Looks like the Pirates are going to go for it. Big time play coming here. Fourth and one from the Panthers' 30-yard line. Pirates got two receivers on each side, and the timeout is called. Big shout out to the Panther football seniors this year. Number seven, Jacob Hammond. Number 21, Christian Eddy. Number 25, Ryan Carpenter. Number 31, Aiden Calderone. Number 32, Rowan Stricker. Number 34, Levi Musselman. Number 53, Tony Giralf. Number 55, Casey Weber. Number 60, Johnny Doyster. Number 64, Bryce Steffens. Number 82, he actually changed it to 13, Eric Brom. And the Panthers assistant coach, Lane Shale. And for cheer, the two cheer seniors this year are Cassie Beth and Nevaeh Ireland. So big congratulations to all those seniors on senior night. And here comes a big play. Pirates fourth and one. Panthers looking for a stop. Pirates looking to keep the drive going. They'll hand it off. And it is to Wolf again. And it looks like he has enough for the first down. So another first down for the Pirates. Fresh set of downs for Waterloo on the Panthers 27. It was a gain of three there for Wolf, who has had a great start to his second half. And they'll hand it off on a reverse or on an end around. And that is a gain of about five. Handoff was to number 28, Jordi Aguero. So it'll be a second and five from the Panthers' 22-yard line for the Pirates. Eight minutes left to play in this third quarter. Pirates hoping to get their first points on the board. Motion again, and this one will be a keeper for the quarterback, and he has a hole right up the middle, and it'll be a touchdown for the Pirates. Number 21, Blake Hubner, the quarterback, with a keeper right up the middle, and it'll be a touchdown, Pirates. We are all tied up at six now, and it looks like the Pirates line up here. Looks like they're kicking it. Pirates hoping to take the lead here. Big drive by the Pirates. A lot of positive yards from running back Eugene Wolf, And the quarterback, number 21, Blake Hubner, with the touchdown. Jordi Aguero kicking for the Pirates. And that one is good. And the Pirates take a one-point lead. Waterloo, seven. Palmyra Eagles, six. With 7.37 left to play in the third quarter, Waterloo takes their opening drive of the second half in for a touchdown. We'll see how the Panthers' offense responds.
Always seems to be a close game when these two teams meet, no matter who's out there playing. Last year, it was a Waterloo win, 42-41. to It was in a very exciting game, mostly in the second half. Ended with a drop, two-point conversion attempt. Heartbreaking loss for the Panthers. Big win for Waterloo. Some years before that, Waterloo won 6 nothing. The year prior to last year, though, was a big win for the Panthers. We'll see who comes out on top of this one. Right now, Pirates leading 7-6 to six as they get set up for the kickoff. Looks like Levi Musselman back to return for the Panthers. This one will be kicked to Eddie, and he'll make a few moves. And minimal gain. We'll see where Fort Progress gets him. Looks to be at about the 30-yard line. And that's where the Panthers will set up shop. Here comes Palmyra Eagles' first offensive drive of the second half here. They'll start at the 29-yard line, and Shale hands it off to Musselman. And forward progress gives him a gain of about four. And a flag coming in afterwards. We'll see what this is for. Some extracurricular on that play. And it is against Waterloo. So this will give the Panthers a first down. That should move the chains for the Panthers. And a big penalty for the Pirates. This will bring the Panthers all the way up to about the 47 or 48 yard line. So first and 10 from their own 48 for the Panthers. Shale under center. Motion. He'll take the snap and hand it off to, looks like Carpenter. And Carpenter gets gain of about two or three. Hammond fights for a couple there. That was actually to Jacob Hammond, my bad. At the 50-yard line for the Panthers, it's going to be a second and seven. Three backs in the backfield. Shale hands it off to Musselman, who has a nice gain and is brought down, possibly by the face mask. There was a flag there. Another flag on the play here. We'll see what this is for. Was a good gain of about three or four. And it goes a holding on Palmyra Eagle. Push him back a bit. So that'll push him back. Look at him about a second and 17 now from the 40 yard line. Chance Shale once again at QB. Well, back in the backfield for the Panthers. They hand it off to Levi, and that ball is that. Looked like a reverse, it was botched. Not sure who has it. Big pile. Ball is on the ground for a second there. Musselman. And Levi Musselman picks it back up. Uh, 
Tony Jarrell for the Panthers went to the sideline with an injury. Coming in for Palmyra Eagle now, number 65, Dylan Kisley. Filling in on the line there. Third and 15 from their own 40-yard line for the Panthers. And Shale will drop back to pass. And he completes it to Calderon, who is wrapped up nicely there by number 26, Jackson Christensen. It's a good completion. It's a gain of about 11 or 10 or 11 there. So it'll be a fourth and four. And Palmyra Eagle looks like they are going to go for it. Nice completion there from Schill to Calderon. And Aiden Calderon will actually punt this one away. They will not go for it. And timeout called. Palmyra Eagle. They're first as the Pirates lead it 7-6 to six over the Palmyra Eagle Panthers with 4.30 left to go in this third quarter. So Palmyra Eagle on a fourth and four is going back to punt here. Calderon will punt it for them. Back to return for Waterloo. It looks like Brody Chance. And Calderon kicks it. Nice punt. And this one will not be fielded by Waterloo. And will be marked at, at about the 21-yard line. Good punt from Calderon. And the Waterloo offense takes over. Fresh off a touchdown, first and 10 from their own 21. 422 left to play in this third quarter. Waterloo is up a point. Panthers D has been pretty good all night. Last drive, a couple big third down conversions picked up by the Pirates. But overall, it's been a pretty solid night so far from the Panthers D. We'll see if they can keep it up. Here comes a Waterloo offense back out onto the field. Blake Hebner still at quarterback. Back in the backfield. Two receivers on each side. Bring one in motion. Takes a snap. Handoff to Wolf and Ois was oh fake the handoff at a man wide open. Jackson Christensen was wide open, but just overthrew him. There was pressure. So it'll be second and 10, Waterloo. Tony Giral free answers for the Panthers. Three receivers on the left, one on the right for Waterloo. Wolf in the backfield. Hebner hands it off to Wolf. And he is wrapped up. Nice gang tackle there. Looked like it was Tony Giroff there first and the Panthers gang tackle. Nice. Nice stop by Palmyra Eagle D for only a gain of one, and it's now third and nine. Waterloo looking for a big third down conversion right here. Pirates bring a man in motion, take the snap, and this will be a fake handoff. Hebner, hesitation, throwing, and incomplete. incomplete pass for the Pirates. And it'll now be fourth and nine. That was intended to Antonio 
Unzueta. And the Pirates will have to punt it away. So Wolf and his punt is blocked. And Wolf will take it and it looks like he's in the end zone. Aiden Calderon with the block punt. Big play. He'll be brought down at the one yard line. A big time play for the Panthers. Thought it might result in the safety. Now they will have an opportunity to punch it in from the one yard line. Big time play by Aiden Calderon to block that punt. And the Panthers offense sets up with amazing field position at the one yard line. 324 left to play in this third quarter. Let's see if the Panthers can punch it in here. Their rushing attack has been very good so far. We'll see if they do decide to rush for it or if they'll throw. And they do hand it off. And that is right into the end zone for a touchdown. Look to be Jacob Hammond on the touchdown. Freshman Joey Brown right up the gun. It was actually Joey Brown, a freshman, with the touchdown. And the Panthers retake the lead, 12 to seven. Well, our Eagles will be going for two here. That score was set up again by the Aiden Calderon block punt. And here go the Panthers, they'll go for two to make this a seven point lead. Shale going back to pass and he'll be hit and sacked. So, two-point conversion, no good for the Panthers. They take the take the lead back, though, 12 to seven. Palmyra Eagle over the Pirates. 319 left to go in this third quarter. Palmyra Eagle right after the touchdown here will kick it back to the Pirates. Calderon back to kick. The big time score by the Panthers from a big time special teams play. We'll see if their special teams can do some more magic here. Return by the Pirates. And the returner shoved out of bounds close to the 30 yard line. Nice kick by Calderon. Tony Giroff and Eric Brom in on the tackle. So Waterloo is a first and 10 at their own 29 yard line. Palmar Eagle D, which had a big stop last drive, led to the block punt. See if they can do it again. So Waterloo offense coming back out. See if they can recreate the magic of their first drive. Hebner takes a snap and hands it off to Aguera, it looks like. And it's a gain of about four or five. 
Couldn't quite tell who brought him down for the Panthers. So it'll be a second and four from their own 35-yard line. Here goes Waterloo. Hebner still back at quarterback. And Aguero still back in the backfield. And that pass is caught right about the first down marker. And we'll see how they mark it here. Ryan Carpenter brings him down. And they will give the Pirates the first down, it looks like. It was very close. They'll give the Pirates the first down. Nice completion by Hebner there. Jordi Aguero in the backfield for the Pirates. Man in motion, and they will give it to him, and that's going to be a gain of about five. Antonio Unzueta. Second and five from the 40-yard line for the Pirates. Waterloo once again using their rushing attack nicely. Hebner back in the shotgun formation. Two receivers on either side. One goes in motion. And that is a fake handoff, but then they'll give it to, looks like, Aguero, who will be pushed for a gain of about four or five. Close to a first down, but I don't think they quite got it. And... So it'll be a third and one here for the Pirates. Panthers looking for a stop here. Aguero in the backfield for the Pirates. Hebner at quarterback and shotgun. He'll hand it off to Aguero, and it looks like he got the first down. Met right at the line, but they'll give it to him. Gain of about one or two, and that's enough for a Pirates first down. Closing in on the end of the third quarter here, 30 seconds to play. The Panthers lead at 12 to seven over the Waterloo Pirates. Waterloo currently driving. Three receivers to the right, one to the left. Looks like Eugene Wolf is in the backfield now again for the Pirates. Siebner takes the handoff, and they'll give it to Wolf. Wolf has a nice hole, and that's going to be a gain of about five or six for Eugene Wolf of the Pirates, and that'll close out the third quarter. The Palmyra Eagle Panthers score a touchdown off a blocked punt. It's Palmyra Eagle 12, Waterloo 7. Back in a minute with the fourth quarter. Here we go with the start of the fourth quarter. It is a second and four for the Pirates from their own 45. That's actually the Panthers' 35. Here go the Pirates. Hebner with the handoff. Looks like it's to Wolf. And close to a first down. Maybe a few yards short. It'll bring up about a third and two. Ryan Carpenter, Casey Weber, Tony Giralf. In on the gang tackle. Panthers D looking for a stop here. Go, 
Another big third down. Waterloo's offense finding a little more success than they did in the first half. Man in motion for the Pirates, and they will keep it. Fake the handoff, wide open receiver, and he will be not be brought down until about the 25-yard line. Nice completion from Hebner to Nzueta. And the Pirates have a new first down at the Panthers' 24-yard line. Waterloo now setting up with three receivers on the left, one on the right. Eugene Wolf in the backfield. Hebner is quarterback, and they will give it to Wolf. Small gain, met right at the line, but it looks like Calderon and Casey Weber. Good stop there by the Panthers D. It'll be second and 10 for the Pirates. Taking the snap, they'll pass it. This one up in the air and it is caught. Wow, what a catch by Caleb Hager. And the Waterloo Pirates now in the red zone right near the goal line. A big, big completion for the Pirates. It'll be a first and three from the three yard line. Pirates looking for a score here. Panthers looking for a stop. Man in motion. And it'll be, looks like up the middle again. Hebner did not get there. It'll be a gain of about one or two. Second and goal for the Pirates. Here goes Waterloo, hoping to punch it in again. They scored their first drive of the second half on a run from their quarterback. And he just tried it again. Did not score this time. We'll see what they do on second down here. Motion for the Pirates. And looked like Hebner kept it again. And another stop by Palmyra Eagle. So, third down up and coming for the Pirates. Panthers looking to stop the Pirates on the goal line. Hebner in at QB. Wolf in the backfield. Two receivers on either side. They bring a man in motion. And they'll hand it off to Aguero. And it is in. Touchdown, Waterloo. Jordy Aguero on the handoff scores, and the Pirates retake the lead 13 to 12. 9 11 to go in this fourth quarter. Big play by Waterloo, big drive by Waterloo. The big play on that drive, of course, the completion to Hager. And now here goes Waterloo attempting the extra point here to put him up two. Aguero kicking for the Pirates. And that kick is blocked. Another great special teams play by Palmyra Eagle. And that keeps the lead for the Pirates at one. Waterloo Pirates 13, Palmyra Eagle Panthers 12 with 9-11 to play in the game. Here goes Waterloo. Back to the it's a Guerrero kicking for the Pirates. Levi Musselman back to return for the Panthers. Christian Eddy and Jacob Hammond. They're both back as well. Joey Brown 
back there. And this is a squib, and it'll go out of bounds. So flags fly, and the Panthers should set up at their own 40. Panthers down one. Plenty of time left to play in this fourth quarter. So here comes the Panthers' offense. First and 10 at their own 40. Some confusion about the spot of the ball there. And now we're good to go here. It'll be Shale taking the snap. Three backs in the backfield for the Panthers. They will hand it off to Musselman, who has a nice hole. And that's a gain of about nine. It'll lead us to about a second and one here, it looks like. Maybe second and two. Nice run by Musselman there. He and Carpenter, along with Hammond, have been mixing in well with the rushing attack today. And Shale takes the handoff once again to Musselman, and he's got the first down and more. He'll bring it, and he's still going. A push from the Panthers will get Levi Musselman to about the 43-yard line. Nice run there by Musselman. Two nice runs in a row. And the Panthers' offense in enemy territory now. First and 10 from the 42. Chance Shale, ooh, almost jumped, and that will be a flag. That'll be a false start on the Pirates. And Palmari Eagle drawing Waterloo offsides. Nice play by the offense there. It will be an encroachment penalty on the Pirates. Five-yard penalty. It'll be a first and five for the Panthers. Chance Shale working the check with me. So here come the Panthers at first and five from the Pirates' 37-yard line. Still three backs in the backfield for the Panthers. Eddie out wide. Shale takes the handoff. They'll give it to Musselman again. Why not? He has been amazing, and he will take this one to the house. Touchdown, Panthers. They retake the lead on a Musselman rush. Unbelievable drive there for Levi Musselman and the Panthers, and they retake the lead. Palmyra Eagle 18, Waterloo 13, with 7.49 left to play in the game. That was a big time rush from Levi Musselman. It was the workhorse on that drive. And another two point conversion coming up here for the Panthers. It would make it a seven point lead. Should they succeed? They'll hand it off to Levi Musselman again. He will not get it in, though. And it will remain a five-point lead for the Panthers. Palmyra Eagle, 18. Waterloo, 13. What a drive by Palmyra Eagle. Levi Musselman. Seven forty nine left to play in the fourth quarter. It's been quite a back and forth game here in the second half. At the start of half, or at the start of the second half, it was Palmyra Eagle six, Waterloo nothing. It's now eighteen to thirteen. Palmyra Eagle with the lead. So the Panthers ready to kick it off here. Two men back deep for the Pirates. One is Aguero. A 
Looks like the other returner for Waterloo is Eugene Wolf. Palmar Eagle shuffling some personnel on and off the field. They look to be ready now. Calderon ready to kick it. And he'll kick it to Wolf. He'll return this one. And broken tackle. And breaks a few more before finally being brought down. That returner was Caleb Hager, not Wolf. Panthers D brings him down at about the 28-yard line. So that's where the Pirates will set up shop with a first and 10. Here comes the handoff, and Waterloo will take it for a gain of about one or two. So it'll be a second and eight. Ryan Carpenter on that tackle. Waterloo on their own 30 now. Second down and eight for the Pirates. Hebner and Wolf. Hebner, the quarterback, Wolf, the tailback. Three receivers out to the right, one out to the left for Waterloo. Hebner takes the low snap and rolls out and throws, and it's a completed catch. And a flag comes in after the play, possibly a late hit. That was a gain of about four, but the flag. Looks like it may advance the Pirates. We'll see what it's for. It was against Palmyra Eagle. And it's going to be a 15 yard penalty. So Waterloo will get a first down. It's like a personal foul, late hit on Jacob Hammond. So the Panthers, penalty that costs them here. The Pirates now will start at a first, with a first and 10 at the Panthers 49 yard line. Waterloo, two receiver out on both sides. Hebner takes the snap, and that one is batted up in the air, and is it picked? Was he in bounds? Does not look like it. Incomplete pass. Christian Eddy nearly had the pick there. Ball was batted up into the air. Second and 10. Waterloo, second and 10 at midfield. Hebner ready to take the snap. And he will give it to Wolf, who will be met right at the line by a slew of Panthers. And that'll be no gain for Palmari for the Pirates. Maybe a gain of one. So it'll be third and nine. 6-13 left to play in the fourth quarter. Palmyra Eagle leads 18 to 13. Three receivers out left, one to the right for Waterloo. Wolf in the backfield. Hebner in the shotgun formation. Hebner takes a snap and he'll pass. That ball was batted up. That was some nice pressure there by Eric Brom, who already got in there for a blocked extra point earlier. 
Nice play by Eric Brom. That'll lead to a fourth and nine for the Pirates. And it looks like they're going to punt. Eugene Wolf punting for the Pirates. Jacob Hammond back to return for the Panthers. Low punt, almost blocked again. And Jacob Hammond will call a fair catch at about the 20 yard line. So, Palmyra Eagle with the lead at, with 5.44 left to play in the game. Palmyra Eagle likely will turn to the running game, which has been successful tonight, to try and run this clock out. It will start at their own 19-yard line. First and 10, Palmyra Eagle. Here goes Chance Shale under center. He'll take the snap and hand it off to, looks like Carpenter. Nice gain of about two or three. It'll be second and seven for Palmyra Eagle. Musselman coming off the field now. Palmyra Eagle has Jacob Hammond, Ryan Carpenter in the backfield, Chance Shale under center. They'll hand it off to, looked like Joey Brown. And Pirates hold them once again to about no gain. Looks to be a third and seven with a injured Pirates player. He'll hobble off the field. Less than five to play in this game. Panthers lead at 18-13. If you're just joining us, it's been a fantastic game. First half, especially the second quarter, mostly dominated by turnovers. Very defensive game. And in the second half, it's turned into an offensive game with the score opening up. Panthers now trying to run out the clock and get their first win of the season. Shale under center for the Panthers. He'll take the snap, and he'll be back to pass, and throwing it now. Closest receiver looked to be Jacob Hammond, and that'll fall incomplete. So it'll be fourth and seven for Palmyra Eagle. Some pressure on Chance Shale. Also bumped into the back there. Panthers will be back to punt. Aiden Calderon ready to kick it away here. Aiden Calderon, are you ready to punt it away? Looks like it'll be Caleb Hager back to receive. And nice punt by Calderon. It'll be at about the 35 yard line. And Calderon. With a nice punt there, and this will be at the 33-yard line. First and 10 for the Pirates. 4-11 left in the game. Five-point lead for the Panthers. Pirates trying to put together a game-winning drive here. Waterloo sets up shop at their own 33. Hebner once again back at quarterback. He'll take the snap, throwing, and that pass is incomplete. Just off the fingertips, incomplete pass. Looks like it was intended for Brody Chance. Second and 10, Pirates. Second and 10, Waterloo takes a snap, 
And going deep again. And incomplete pass. Nice coverage there by Christian Eddy. Christian Eddy there to defend the play. Bring up a third long. So it'll be third and ten for the Pirates. Panthers D stepping up big right now. See if they can do it again here on this third and long for Waterloo. Four minutes left to play in the fourth quarter. Looks like two receivers out on both sides for the Pirates. Bring a man in motion. He'll take the snap. Passing, and it's a screen play. And, oh, he breaks a few tackles, gets away from some Panther defenders, and here he goes. Brought down. Oh, man, was that a big play for the Pirates. Flips the field. Eugene Wolf, who has made some big plays in this game. Gets it to about the 27-yard line. Completely flips the field for the Pirates. Looked like it was going to be no gain. Look, there are a lot of Panthers right there to wrap him up. Unfortunately, nobody could bring him down. Big time play for the Pirates. 3.36 left to play in the game. Three receivers out left, one out right for the Pirates. Hebner. Takes the snap, looking deep. He's got a man, and it is a touchdown. Pirates. What a big-time drive for the Pirates. Looked like it was number 13, Brody Chance, on the play. He made the reception, Hebner with the pass. And Waterloo now leads 19-18 to over the Panthers with 3.23 left to play in the fourth. A big-time drive for the Pirates but it does leave the Panthers time to answer. Okay. Waterloo. Waterloo going for two, try and give them a three point lead. Here's Hebner and just overthrew his receiver on the slant route and the Pirates has have a one point lead, 19 to 18. What a big time drive for Waterloo. The passing attack coming in big there. The big play was the catch and run by Eugene Wolf on the short screen play that turned into something big for the Pirates. Game a lot of momentum. The Panthers will try to answer. They've got Joey Brown, Levi Musselman, and Jacob Hammond back to return. Waterloo ready to kick it away to Pilar Eagle. Shorter kick, returned by Joey Brown. He will be wrapped up at around the 35-yard line, and that's where the Panthers will set up. First and 10, Palmyra Eagle from the 34-yard line. They will have three minutes and 18 seconds left in this fourth quarter to try and answer. Second half has been filled with scoring. The rushing attack has been big for Palmari Eagle, and they will give it again to Levi Musselman. This time, though, he will be wrapped up for no gain. Second and 10 for Palmyra Eagle. A lot of Pirates in on the tackle. Big time drive for the Panthers. Palmyra Eagle now. Two receivers, two in the backfield. Shale still under center and it's a whistle. And not entirely sure. Looks like it was just to wind the clock. 
so. Here go the Panthers. Ready to snap it. Shale gets it. Looking to pass, and he will give a delay handoff to, looks like, Carpenter, who will be brought down behind the line. Forward progress maybe makes that no gain. Looks to be a loss of one. Third and 11 for Palmyra Eagle. Big third down coming for the Panthers. Approaching two minutes to play in the fourth quarter. Chance Shale under center. Looking to make something happen. He'll take a snap. Fake the handoff, and we will be sacked. Sacked by the Pirates, and a big loss. Great defensive play by Waterloo, and it'll be fourth and 17 with a minute 30 left to play in this fourth quarter. Waterloo needs to make one more play. Palmyra Eagle. Hoping for some magic here. Two receivers out right, one out left, two out left. Two on either side for the Panthers. Shale in shotgun formation, he'll take it. And he will rush for it. And he is brought down after a gain of about three or four. And the Pirates will stop the Panthers with about a minute left. Should be able to knee out the clock now as the Waterloo Pirates look like they're going to come away with a big-time win against the Panthers. Panthers open the season going 0-1. Assuming Waterloo knees out the clock here. Panthers do have three timeouts. A first down would do it. We'll see what Waterloo comes out with here. Here's Waterloo. They'll hand it off to Aguero. He gets around the corner there and... Brought down after a gain of about two or three. Fans clamoring for a penalty. There is none, though, and Jacob Hammond with the tackle. Palmer Eagle calls a timeout with 51 seconds to play in the fourth quarter. So here we go, second and seven for the Pirates from the Panthers' 30-yard line. Hebner will hand it off to Aguero. Looks like to be a gain about three or four. Another timeout from Palmyra Eagle. Be about a third and four, third and five.
47 seconds left in this ball game. It's a third and five for Waterloo. Panthers looking for a stop here. Hebner setting up, and he'll take the snap. They're going to pass, and it's going to be a sack. And that'll bring him back to about the 35. So time will tick off the clock here. Fourth and 14 coming up for Waterloo. Looks like Palmyra Eagles out of timeouts. About 15 seconds left to play here for the Pirates. Clock winding down. We'll likely take the delay of game here. And there will be a penalty. Delay of game coming here. Currently showing no time left on the clock. We'll see how much time they put back up. And that will be that will be the game. Waterloo Pirates win this one. Nailbiter. Waterloo 19, Palmyra Eagle 18. Close game. Thank you for joining us tonight on the live stream. We appreciate all of you joining us. Sorry we can't have you here. Hope everyone stays safe. Please watch the other games as well. We Every home game will be broadcasted on live. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I'm Nolan Kapodlowski, the voice of the Panthers, signing off.